Now I want to look a little bit more at cultural relativism. And uh, so in, in this sense, cultural relativism is going to have the notion of a culture built into it. And I'll just abbreviate uh, cultural relativism by CR. So the culture is, is the authority and, or the people. And it's still a, an argument ad populum, argument from the culture, argument from the people. What does it say? Well, cultural relativism says something like this, that X, you know, some action or way to think or whatever is right or wrong. Um, how is that unpacked? How is that defined? How is that arrived at? Through the cultural Z's codes or norms, right? So basically, right and wrong are really determined by uh, uh, the uh, cultural context that you live in. So, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. That kind of idea. What uh, is right or wrong? Well, you got to look at the uh, society that the actions are in. So actions in and of themselves, um, according to this model, are, are, are neither really right or wrong intrinsically. It's just they are defined as right or wrong by the culture. So what could be wrong in one culture might be looked at very differently in another. So keep that in mind that what's right and wrong, you have to ask, well, according to what culture, not what's right and wrong per se. Okay, so why do some people in, in, uh, agree with these, uh, agree with this position of cultural relativism? Well, there seems to be two general categories. One is what I'm going to call the sort of the differences type of argument, and one is a concern uh, for uh, what Aristotle often talked about, the virtues. So let's first look at uh, the, uh, the difference argument. A lot of people reason like this. They say something like, well, look, different cultures have different moral codes. Travel around. You'll see that different cultures uh, understand right and wrong in qu quite different ways. Think about uh, over time, right? You know, that those understandings have changed over time. So since there's different cultures have different moral codes, we can say, therefore, there's no universal moral code. Now, what people are really getting at with this no universal moral code is something a little bit stronger, that there's no objective moral truth. So why do I call it a differences argument? It, because it moves up here from differences, right? Think of where you started. You started with differences, disagreements, and to move from disagreement to a lack of truth. So disagreement on an issue or an area to a lack of truth. A lot of people make that inference. Is it a good inference? It's problematic. Think about it. People disagree in science. Does that mean when people are disagreeing in an area of science, when at one time people disagreed on whether the solar system was heliocentric, sun-centered, or geocentric, earth-centered? People disagreed about that, but we wouldn't want to say, well, there was just no objective truth to the question of how does the solar system work? So keep in mind that disagreement is not really a good basis to infer no truth. And that's exactly what this does. So think also about how much is the nature of the disagreement. When uh, cultures have different moral codes, different moral practices, is it that really that the practices are so different? Or is it the case that a practice is really made up of a couple of more uh, elementary parts, namely a value and a situation. So when two communities could have very similar values, you know, the standard example is the ancient Spartans. Uh, they loved their children, so did the Athenians. So they both shared the value of loving their children, but the Spartans practiced infanticide, which, which, which appalled the Athenians. But why did they practice infanticide? Well, they had, uh, uh, you know, maybe a rougher kind of existence that they had or some other kinds of, of environmental conditions. So some people say that even the differences in the underlying value that the, that the code expresses, um, they could be actually quite minor. That is that different cultures may have very similar values, but they're expressed in slightly different practices because of environmental conditions. All I'm trying to get uh, across to you is even the notion of an environmental practice and all this is quite subtle and complicated. And you can't just assume that just because there are differences, there's no moral truth. There may not even really be differences in terms of the values that the cultures hold. So this is not really a very good argument. It's a kind of, it, it is an example of a fallacy. All right, so that's the first reason um, you can look at that 
why people uh, sometimes hold uh, cultural relativism as, uh, as, as a proper philosophical position, but it is problematic.